What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Hey, I'm making this video because I need a little bit, oh, let me get over here. Let me get the old bumblebee corn in the background right there. Look at that. Got first time ever grown uh, corn. Anyways, uh, today I just wanna make a quick video on, I need some advice, I need a little help from all of my subscribers or the ones that might have some knowledge on this. Um, what's, I did a little intro for you guys and what's one thing it all had in common? It was blowing in the wind. Uh, and that's a big factor out here in Oklahoma where I live. We live about, I don't know, 1,300 feet, 1,500 feet from the lake. So we got, we always got a breeze. When the, the wind's blowing out of the south, we always got a strong wind coming. And then in the north, we don't, we don't have any trees out on homestead, hardly at all, um, that, that are there to block the wind. So it's always windy out here. We live on a 10-acre old farm plot. This, this used to be like 200 acres around here, and it was all farmland. So they've made it treeless pretty much well that tree those trees back there on those are on the fence row away on the uh, on the east side um, of the farmland but as far as open it was pretty much all open out here so we have a lot of wind so what I want to talk to you about today is wind power um, I have the uh, electricians coming tomorrow I need to talk to them a little bit they probably will know a little bit about this also I'm guessing but I need some advice from from anyone out there that's watching this video on um, I'm wanting to do wind power out here I'm not against solar but I'm leaning more towards the wind power just because we have so much wind in Oklahoma and the reason why we have so much wind out here, I don't know if you guys heard this before or not but is because Texas sucks no I'm just joking that's an old that's an old OU uh, Texas joke um, I love all my all my Texas subscribers out there hey guys don't forget to smash that like button <laughs> but no hey in all seriousness so we have a lot of wind out here and um, I've been doing a little bit of research on wind power and all that stuff but I don't I still don't know anything about it. I know a lot of a lot of people out there are off-grid I don't see a lot of people using wind power I see a lot of solar power um, I've reached out to a couple of local companies when I say local I live in Northeast Oklahoma you see, see how windy it is um, I live in Northeast Oklahoma and I've reached out in Oklahoma City I think maybe Tulsa one with no response from them so and I've tried to call a couple with they, they don't return a phone call so I don't know um, so what what my question is is the electricians are coming tomorrow and I'm wanting to see if I need if I if I can have them set up some sort of, of grid inside the house where it would make it easier on me if if and when I do decide or can get the wind generator or the wind um, turbine out here. Um, if there's something I could just if if it'd be easy for them to hook something up where I could just pretty much plug it in and it's ready to go. Um, have a battery bank and all that stuff. I don't know anything about, about this. That's why I'm reaching out to all my subscribers uh, for a little advice, a little bit of help uh, on, on where to get started. So um, if you guys have any advice on what I could have the electricians do um, as far as hooking things up, like for instance in the in the kitchen, what, what my goal is, I don't want to run right now. I don't care about running the whole house off wind power, um, but I would like to run um, uh, maybe my um, freezer my deep freezer and my refrigerator those are the two main things I would love to be able to run off some sort of power um, I know I could probably get a, a inexpensive uh, maybe solar power but I want I really want to do wind I don't see a lot of people doing wind there might be a reason for that um, but that's something I'm really interested in and I like to do so that's what I, I want to do so what my question is can I have them set up like two outlets say uh, one outlet behind the refrigerator that's straight from the power grid and then a second outlet that is hooked up where um, once I do get my um, my wind uh, stuff hooked up, uh, once I get all that ready to go, I can just go ahead and unplug it from the grid and plug it in to the off-grid uh, system. So is that something I could do? Have two maybe have two separate um, uh, two separate outlets for them, you know, side by side or whatever, and I could just switch it back and forth or switch it over uh, when I when I can. Is that something I could do? Because if it is, I'll have them set that up for my deep freezer, uh, for my, um, like I said, my refrigerator, and maybe my um, my air conditioner and furnace. I don't know. It's all electric, so I don't know. Um, I'm sure the, the furnace part would be really, really, I'm guessing, pull a lot of energy, so that might not be possible. Maybe the AC. I don't know. What, what's your guys' opinion on that? So, yeah, that's, that's all I want to talk to you about today. Um, if anyone out here uh, works for a solar wind uh, company, reach out to me, or if you guys know a good company, uh, maybe that's in Oklahoma or close that they do serve Oklahoma uh, if you guys can give me their contact info or send me uh, a link or email me something any help is appreciated guys and uh, that's like a, like I said my goal right now isn't to get totally um, off the grid but I would like to be able to run my refrigerator and uh, freezer for sure those are two things I really want to run because um, like you guys know we 
raise animals out on the homestead. I'll walk over here because this, if this is your first time coming across my video, I'm gonna walk over and show you my animals. There's Gabby. Hey, Gabby, Gabby. Gabby, 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 Gabby. What's up, Jess? You guys see him? You guys see him back here behind me? Awesome. Uh, we love raising pigs and second year raising a steer and we got sheep back there somewhere roaming around so if this is your first time coming across the channel that's why i want to go to some sort of wind power that way i could have a backup for my freezer because it would be such a waste because here in oklahoma we have ice storms we have snowstorms tornadoes we get floods i mean the power goes out quite a bit more than you would think and sometimes they'll be out for a week two weeks at a time so two weeks um without the refrigerator even uh, probably after about three days um, your freezer is going to unthaw. You're going to ruin that meat if you don't cook it quick. So I want to have a backup plan in the new house. Um, if this is something you guys think I, I could do, um, if you have some sort of direction to send me in, please send it to me because I would hate to lose that kind of meat. It would be such, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be horrible um, to take the time um, raising these uh, animals. In a, right now they're kind of free ranging, uh, raising these animals and then ha and then lose the meat. It'd just be, it'd be complete waste. And I do not want to do that. And I'll, I haven't came across that problem before, but it doesn't mean it, it won't happen. Um, but now I'm in the situation where I think I could be able to get the electricians to do something. Um, if you guys have any advice for me at all, please leave a comment down there in the comment section below. Um, I really do appreciate any advice, any direction you guys can send me. That's a good direction. You get Jesse back there. I gotta go. I gotta go feed the pigs because they are getting grumpy here, and they are starting to root around pretty good right here. Um, I, I had an old hay bale had an old hay bale right here and they had they push it over every couple days and get the bugs out from underneath it now it's completely gone i don't know where it's at maybe i don't know maybe they ate it i don't know but all right guys thanks for watching this video um not i don't have a whole lot going on right now at the house like i said before electricians supposed to come out tomorrow so i'll talk to them a little bit about it and i'll also give you guys an update within the next couple days of what we got going on and what we've uh, came up with so don't forget leave comments down below and number one thing smash that like button for me if, you will. if you're not subscribed please subscribe and uh, click that little bell for notification. That way you guys do get the new content that I put out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.